non-persistent accesses attack on buggy web application so what we are going to learn here in this video uh, we are going to take a look at a couple of points that uh, what is non-persistent accesses attack and i will also show you an example and explanation of non-persistent accesses attack inside kali linux operating system so again uh, you need to open kali linux and open matili day inside the browser so uh, we are at Kali Linux operating system and uh, in the browser Matili Day is already open. You can click on home to come back to the home. All right. Okay. Now uh, we are going to perform non persistent accesses attack. So let me go to the non persistent OS 2017. Come to the accesses. Come to the reflected. Reflected is also called non persistent attack and click on DNS lookup. Okay. So we are here at uh, the non-persistent or reflected type of accesses attack and as I already told you that uh, non-persistent means basically it is not a permanent attack. It is a kind of temporary attack to uh, gather information about the user or uh, to basically uh, provide a warning message to the user etc. So this is the work of uh, non-persistent accesses attack and it is less harmful uh, than the persistent one because persistent is basically permanent and uh, because all the users will get harm okay so i'm going to start with the very basic command of non persistent access attack right so let me type so first of all let me open the script all right and after that you need to type alert open and close small bracket and inside you can type hello double quotes close and then script close okay so this is the command right the command is quite simple script open and uh, then alert the use of alert is basically it provides the pop-up box and uh, inside that you can type any sentence or any word for example if I type hello right uh, for example hello Sunil anything you can type right so alert will uh, alert is used to provide a pop-up box and inside that pop-up box you will find the message hello sunil right if it happens it means the website is vulnerable to non-persistent accesses attack and then script close right and you can click on lookup dns let me click on this and here it is you can see here that a pop-up has come and inside this pop-up it is showing me the message which i have typed inside the query hello sunil it means this website is actually vulnerable to accesses attack and particularly non-persistent accesses attack all right so this is the very basic example of uh, the non-persistent now for example if you want to gather information about the cookie of the particular user how we can gather so what will happen basically to gather information about the cookie you can use this command first of all script open right alert inside alert you can directly type document dot cookie and then script close all right so this is script open inside alert to get the pop-up box and inside alert you need to i need to find out document dot cookie and then script Close. There is no double quotes in the document.cookie because this is a function or this is a command. In the previous one, we were typing a word, so that's why we need to provide the double quotes. Here, you don't you don't need to provide any double quote here. And we are trying to gather information about the cookie of a particular user. Now you can click on lookup DNS, and here you can see that pop-up box has come, and now it is showing me the PHP session ID of the particular users right so this session ID is basically a different different for the different users right so to gather information about a particular user you can uh, use this query for that particular computer for that particular user all right so we got the PHP session ID it means we got the cookie information of the user using accesses attack now this is non persistent because it is not permanent it is a temporary because I am just trying to gather information about the user so it will not be considered inside the persistent accesses attack which is a permanent attack it is non persistent attack all right so i hope you have learned that what is the meaning of non persistent attack and how it works
so this is all about the non-persistent attack and in the next video we are going to take a look at the third type of accesses which is dom based accesses attack thank you so much